going on YouTube, Gios right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you an application you can use in order to get one terabyte of free storage online. So you can back up your photos and memories and PDFs and PowerPoints and documents and so on. And that application is Terabox. Terabox is apparently the first cloud storage system that gives you 1024 gigabytes for free. That's one terabyte for free in order to store your photos, create automatic backups and share your photos in your homemade videos from events and so on for free. They also have a premium service, we're going to get into that, but they do give you 1024 permanent free space on their platform. Their application is available for Android, iPhone and Windows, but there's also the website I have here available where you can check out your files. However, for the desktop companion application, they only have Windows for the moment and it supports Windows from Windows XP all the way up to Windows 11. And the Terabox is actually providing at the moment the most free space in an application. If you think about it, iCloud only provides you like 5 gigs when you sign up. If you want more, you have to pay. Mega only provides you up to 50 gigs in free space. If you want more, you have to pay. But this one, this provides you 1024 gigs for free, which means about 400,000 photos to be backed up on this. So if you have a ton of photos you want to back up and have available on all devices, this might be the solution. Now you're going to ask me, is this secure? Well, definitely. They do have proper encryption and they also provide a way to encrypt even further through a safe, your files and your photos and so on, which you will only be able to decrypt with Face ID and they automatically get locked after a minute of inactivity. So let's check it out on iOS. I'm going to connect the phone to the computer and show you how to get it. All right, so in order to get the application for iOS, the Terabox application, you go to the App Store and search for Terabox, as you can see over here, and it's definitely the first one in here, Terabox Cloud Storage Space from FlexTech. And this one, yes, it provides 1024 gigs for free. Now, why would you want to get this? Because you can back up your photos and documents and so on, and it's pretty simple to use. You have your albums in here, you have the videos, you have the files, and here you can basically upload your photos by just pressing this and selecting the photos you want to back up from here. So let me go ahead and I'm going to select everything here and you can see there are dates as well. You can see exactly when the photo was taken. So as you can see, I have all the photos selected here, 34 in total, and you can select the path where you want them to be uploaded. I'm going to create a new folder, which I'm going to call backup and confirm. This will create a new folder and I know exactly where all my photos are. So I'm going to select here the folder that I just created and press upload. And that's it. It says that the files have been added to the upload list. In this way, if I press over here, you can see exactly my photos being backed up in real time to the cloud storage. Now, of course, this is great if you switch over from device to device and you always want to have all your files in the same place. And this provides quite a lot of storage for that. It's also great for school if you have a lot of documents, courses, lesson plans and stuff like that that you want to share across multiple devices. And that's great as well because you can upload files as well, not only photos, and you can have them on all your devices being Android or Windows or iOS, which means it's quite versatile. You can just switch over and you will always have your files with plenty of storage to work with. Now, if you go back in here, there's an option called safe. You can see that my phone is a 64 gig device and it's already at 86% as you can see from here, which means that I already have exhausted my space on the device. But with Terabox, I have one terabyte for free that I can use, which is far more than I ever need. So if you take a look in here, the application is pretty simple to use, but there's another important thing about this application. The ability to create a safe. If you go over here on files, you can see my folder containing all my photos that I just uploaded. They're still uploading in the background. And now we have this folder over here. We can turn on automatic photo and video backup. And this way we get backups automatically. But the most important feature is the safe feature, which is this one here. It protects your most important private files by using password protection, safer document storage, and it supports face ID in order to unlock the device. It also automatically locks the safe after one minute of inactivity but it does say in here that forgotten passwords cannot be recovered so you should definitely keep the password in mind that's because they do not store the plain text password anywhere so i'm going to enable the safe over here we need to create a numeric password i'm going to say 4545 for the sake of this video
video. And now it says please enter the password for the safe, which is 4545. Once we're in, you can add in here anything you want inside the safe. So I'm gonna go with photos, and let's say that I want to put these files in here, and this one as well, inside the safe. We just press upload like normal, and they would automatically go inside the safe. Here inside the safe, you can see all the photos, but if you go back, it will automatically lock after one minute. Now here on the safe, you can go here to settings, and you can use face ID unlock, which I'm going to toggle on right now and press OK. And now we can unlock the safe with Face ID. That's pretty simple. And as long as you know the password, you can still change it. When you're done with the documents that you have inside the safe, you press lock now. And that's it. If you try to open the safe now, as you can see in here, it shows the Face ID prompt or the passcode. So as you can see, if you cannot use the Face ID, you can go with the passcode and that would still work. That would still unlock your safe. Or you go with the Face ID. As simple as that. And it protects your device from prying guys. You can go here to files and also upload files. So I'm going to go here with files and you can see that not only photos can be uploaded but also PDFs like this one in here which I'm going to upload and as you can see that PDF was uploaded you can go ahead and upload like databases and stuff like this one over here which I'm going to upload and it's done and many other type of files like HTML which I'm going to upload right now. There you go, HTML file has been uploaded and even zip files like this one over here and press upload. And as you can see, this one was uploaded as well. And if you go here to backup now, you have everything in here, including the PDF and of course the HTML document, the database and the zip file. And yes, you can extract the zip file. As you can see over here, it contains that HTML document and you can either extract it to the current folder or to another folder, which I'm going to go over here, create a new folder, say zip, and I'm going to extract it in there. Archive extraction works as well. And yes, that's it. It's as simple as that. You can download back your files in order to have them available for offline storage by going in here on a backup, selecting one of the files that you need and going for download and make available offline. This way, even if you're not connected to the internet, your backups will be available. You go here to offline and as you can see, that one is now available offline and you can see it in here. You can even share it, of course, you can share it on Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, Telegram, or even via email and link with visibility settings, of course. So it's pretty simple to share your photos or your documents with your classroom and stuff like that. And as you can see over here in space management, I have plenty of space left because I have premium, so I have two terabytes of available space. But as you can see, I only use 98 megabytes of space. But yeah, it's a pretty neat application. You can share your files, you can keep your files backed up safely, and of course, available on all devices. Now, I would definitely recommend you to back up your files on cold storage as well if they're that important to you for example it's a very important document or a very important photo and stuff like that do keep it stored in cold storage as well like a usb flash drive or a usb hard drive or i don't know a cd dvd whatever don't rely on a single backup source but terabox is definitely great for backing up files across your devices so definitely check it out for free and get your one terabyte of space thank you for watching i am geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out